This video will go through creating different uh, half models and whole models of the airplane, which will end up being used for different reference surfaces later when we do the structure. I briefly mentioned in one of the earlier videos um, how when we create the half model, we just reflect it over to the other side. We'll just go through the details real quickly in this video. So we have a bunch of fuselages already existing, which is all just hiding and showing of things trying to find the correct one with the right tail cone, which is why you should name things. And you notice from earlier videos in this one, I didn't make all the right sides of things, the, port, the uh, Star Wars sides. So now I'm going to take I cut everything off the starboard side, and I'm going to join all the panels. But um, instead of using a join, we're going to use it. I'm going to show you how to use the heel tool, which is in the same section as the join. You select all the things that you want, then you can go to the freeze pane and select the items that you do not want to move. And then when you click OK, it'll adjust the other surfaces a little bit to get, so you get better tangents and whatnot. So go through that here. Elements to freeze. Really, it's more of a join application. There might be more of a join application. If you're going to freeze everything, then there's no point. But just to show you that it's available. Clean up this a little bit. Okay, now we're going to use the symmetry definition tool to collect the entire left side, port side, over to the starboard side. and we will heal those two sides together. So you can freeze the port side. Port side panels here. And then press OK. So that is the whole fuselage. Now you're going to want, you you may want to create a couple different models of the fuselage as you go. That might be helpful when you're creating structure. You'll want the whole fuselage, which has no cutouts, and then you might want several different ones that have certain parts cut out, such as the windscreen or the doors and the windows. Um, since so I don't have the doors and windows in here, we'll just show the without the windscreen. And you can create more of the fuselages as you go when you cut out the other components. And the reason you want to do that is you might be creating projections on the surface for, let's say, the laundrons, and you don't want laundrons wherever the windows or the window are, but you may want to use the rest of the where those things are for other references. So when you project the laundrons, you want holes to be where the where the cutouts are, and this will make that a lot easier instead of projecting it along the entire fuselage and then going to have to cut and cut out each of them individually from all your support structure. So I am creating a separate windshield part too where I joined all the parts of the windshield. Since they were in separate pieces before, called windscreen hole.
and we'll show you how to apply material. So you press the box with the little ball and an arrow button. That brings up these materials that you can select from a tab. This will just paint it white. And the color shows up here differently than it will when it's rendered. Just keep that in mind. This we can apply. Uh, maybe we can find a glass or a mirror. So mirror for now. Be careful with the slider tools too. You mess with those and everything disappears on you and you have to go back in and redo it. So if you had a particularly shiny window, perhaps you could use a mirror. Otherwise use glass.